today is the last day of this setup as tomorrow it's being completely replaced the keyboard the mouse the monitors the um what else is there oh yeah i've got some new lighting for it coming yeah so kind of sad but the reason why is this monitor is basically dying and it keeps flashing so this ultra wide i'm putting in is going to look a lot better um this keyboard i still like it Ch uh, Cherry MX Reds, it's a K95, so it's a bloody solid keyboard, but that that's annoying. That light's dead, but still very nice keyboard. So I'm going to use that for my iMac instead. And then I've got another similar keyboard to this coming, but it's a K68. And then uh, that's that. Um, that's getting replaced because the middle button doesn't work. I mean, it scrolls, but when you push down, it just doesn't, you know, if you want to have the uh, long scroll it doesn't work so I've got a Corsair variant of this coming this is a Razer but the, and the reason I'm getting a Corsair is because it matches with the keyboard I'm buying so I'm trying to pair it but yes I've got the box over here with all the stuff in it um, oh yeah I had to get one of these fans I mean I found one of these once and they're really good uh, smart plug so I'm going to link that into the Alexa there, which I need to clean because she's just got dust all over her. Uh, the retro computer's definitely staying. That mic I'm probably going to move there. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, cable tidy. Yeah, didn't expect it to look like that. It looks like something you'd find in a bathroom, but hey. Uh, reason why I bought this um, is this is going to sit behind the new monitor and then it's going to reflect on the wall. Um, generally because LED strips are a pain in the arse to work with and these just eliminate the issue completely. Um, and that in there at the back is a desk mat. So I might have to buy a separate mouse pad now, it just completely covers the desk. But yes, there's some more accessories coming tomorrow and I'll do another video on it probably. Uh, but yes, that's that. So yes, rest in peace to this setup I suppose. I mean. I love the idea of free monitors, but this ultra wide is going to go from about here all the way to here. And I've also got some new speakers, so these are going, uh, and so are these two here. I'm just going to have some big giant uh, 90 odd pound speaker things. I got, I think, Edify RT 1280T, I think they are. Very nice. Uh, but they're apparently they're one of the best rated cheap kind of speakers you can get. Well, they're not cheap, they're still 90 quid, but they're better than. Um, most bookshelf speakers you can get, that's, well that's what they're classed as. And plus with bookshelf speakers are a pain in the ass to get a uh, amplifier for. So these you don't need an amplifier, you just plug them directly into the computer. Uh, don't know what that is. Yeah. But, yeah. Shame about that, I really like that keyboard. Yep. But no. anyway, I'm going to tune out and tomorrow I'll shall put the full video up um, and then I can get rid of that horrible uh, scissor key keyboard which the Mac comes with and um, this oh god I mean it, it looks nice but it's crap it really is not a nice mouse uh, so this is going to go in the drawer with the Apple keyboard and these the old keyboard and mouse are just going to get plugged into the Mac and they're going to have the brand new ones here so yes going to sort that out oh the cool thing is um, I'll only have to say Alexa turn on the lights and she'll turn on the backlights that I said I mentioned before and uh, you can turn the fan on with it as well so that's quite cool but yes this room's a mess I actually need to do it I was going to get a new webcam but this thing's to be fair is good enough um yeah the next day well then I'm finally proud to show off my new setup which is now complete so I can now show you it yay three two one here she is, the new setup. Obviously I've been using the iMac while I've been setting up and listening to music, that's why that's on. But yes, there is my new K68 Corsair keyboard, which has still got a sticker on it, so I might... Oh no. I was going to record it, trying to get it off, unless... Oh, is it actually stuck on? No, but yes, there's the new keyboard. It's very nice. I might just turn the lights off, actually. Oh, RGB goodness. Uh, there's my course uh, Glaive mouse. I think it's Glaive, that's how you pronounce it. Yes. Um, blue uh, Snowball mic. 
Uh, kept the old speakers because I thought may as well just pair it with the new speakers so they're all connected. Uh, got my Pac-Man stuff. The shelves are nice and clean. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the whole setup is voice activated. So if I say, Alexa, turn the lights off, she okay. turns them off. And if I say, Alexa, turn the fan on. Okay. So the whole setup's voice activated. And if I say, Alexa, turn the bedroom, um, oh, Alexa, turn the bedroom on. Okay. Then she turns them all on. And if I say, Alexa, Alexa, turn the bedroom off. Okay. She turns them all off. So the whole room's smart now. But yes, very proud of it. Yeah. Oh, this mat was like eight quid and it feels much higher quality than that. Um, and yes, uh, over here, I've got the old keyboard, more or less the same, but it's just not RGB. And that's going with the iMac in a second. But yes, I'm very happy with the setup. Same with the mouse, by the way, that's going over there. But yes, uh, and the computer still looks rather good for its age. Well, it's nearly two this year. Can I believe it? It's still very powerful, like, but, yep. Oh, um, here's a new speaker, by the way. Let me just find some NCS music. Uh, uh, I know, Zion. There you go. Oh, wait, no, this is copyrighted. Let me think. Uh, NCS. Oh, think of a song. I forgot what it's called now. Oh, sinkhole. Let's try that. Get some generic YouTube music on. Uh, and then I won't get copyrighted for it. The space is incredible. Whoa. Hang on, let me just turn those speakers on somehow. I don't even know where I've put the controller for them. But yes, they're working. And then you get to the bass part. Oh, that bass. Very nice. I love the wood effect on the side though. Um, yeah, shame I can't turn those other speakers on because they'd fit in quite well to be fair. Uh, hang on, I'll just pause this video and find the remote. Okay then, back again, I found the remote for the speaker. Sadly, I should have didn't get a third Alexa book, so I'm going to use the old traditional way of doing it. So if I go, there you go, they're on now. Now this should sound like surround sound, literally. Uh, hang on. Oh god, they sound so shitty with the new speakers. Sorry, I just cut out there and I pushed the button accidentally, but yes, it sounds much better. Now, uh, that if you turn them down and turn them up, it uh, sort of balances it, because they are the high quality speakers, so they kind of just have uh, give the sort of top surround uh, sound sort of effect. But yes, this is a 4K display, uh, and the resolution is at, uh, hang on. The resolution is at uh, 340, uh, for whatever it is at, what was that, 1440? Yeah, so it's quite nice. Uh, 75 hertz apparently, I haven't really checked, but I'll just check now. Um, oh right, it's running at 60 hertz for some reason, let's knock that up. Uh, there you go, get that at 75 hertz. Right, glorious, now it's at 75 hertz, which is always nice. So yes, I'm going to do some, I would do some gaming, man, but instead I'll just play a... Uh, what is it? Three, four. There you go. And if you go on YouTube and find that, then you can find it um, videos that will fit the size of this display. Let's say on YouTube. So I know. Let's just type in uh, GTA. Uh, obviously, I'll have to probably have to turn the sound down because of copyright. Um, but you sh ah. So this is running at. 75 hertz now, so theoretically the monitor should lock itself at 75 frames per second. Very nice. Yep. So that is my new setup, everyone. So if you want, want me to go through the list again, that's a 
blue a snowball mic that's a edifier rt1280 i've got the echo dot this is the corsair k68 mx cherry reds but it is the uh what do you call it yeah it's it's supposed to be waterproof and everything so yeah i don't know i've not really tried don't want to try it like but yeah that is the corsair glaive i think uh, which is the RG Boat B version of it as well. Uh, that is just a generic USB fan you can get on Amazon for about a tenner. And if you get a USB plug and then the Alexa smart plugs, you can make it a smart fan. So, good choice, really. Um, those are Logitech Z200s, I think. Uh, I've had them for a while, uh, but I've decided to keep them because they're good speakers. I'm going to sort that cabling out as well. Um, that's my retro computer, which I've paired up with the uh, new monitor, so I dread to think how that's going to work on it, but hey, it's there for my retro games like Warcraft 2, because this thing won't run it because of bloody Windows 10, and I can run the Settlers on, on it, which Settlers 4 is an amazing game. Uh, yes, so I'm probably going to tune out now, but I'll just turn the lights off again and show you for the uh, final time. Uh, Alexa, turn the lights on. So yes, very proud of it. Um, oh, and my room, my, my entire bedroom actually has RGB lighting, if I show you in a second. Uh, so if I go here, and I use this controller, uh, usually it changes, but for some reason it's not working because uh, I've had them off for a while. And I usually use my phone to do it, but I'm recording on my phone. Right, hang on. Let me just fix this fixed it, just needed to pair this controller up again. The problem is I use my phone to control these lights because they're Wi-Fi uh, controls, so this is the old-fashioned way of doing it technically, but because I'm recording, I can't really, um, you know, do use the phone method of doing it, so I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. So if I go like this, uh, and then I'll turn the brightness up. The whole room, as I said, is, uh, oh yeah, RGB heaven. Yep, so... Actually, I forgot to turn that one over, over there. There you go, that looks nice. Uh, yep, yeah, there's so many colours my phone can't even comprehend them all. <laughs> Shit. Um, but yes, very nice, very proud of it. And so before I go, I've just connected my old keyboard and mouse because I've still got the new ones here. <laughs> um, so this is the one that I used on my desktop previously, which is my K95. And this is now being used on the iMac, which it works very well, surprisingly. I was uh, a bit concerned that as a gaming computer, I meant as a gaming keyboard, it wouldn't work, but yeah, seems fine. Even the volume thing works really accurately. Ooh, so yeah, that's nice. As I said, this keyboard, I still like it. It's the same uh, key switch as those at Cherry M Expo for them, as I say, uh, reds. Um, but yeah, the keyboard was just, I just wanted to get a new keyboard, a new setup, um, rather than just replace one thing. So this has been reused in a very good way. So yes. Oh, same with the Razer Def Adder Corona, or Chroma, or however you pronounce it. Uh, that's also plugged in as well. So this is a fully functional mouse. It's just the uh, middle click doesn't work. But the scroll wheel, wheel kind of works, so yes. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching. This is definitely the final goodbye, and uh, yes, um, hopefully I shall post more changes or do more streaming now that I've got the more upgraded kit, should I say. Um, and this computer, the frame rate will be better because my three monitors had a higher uh, resolution. This monitor is a lot lower. Well, not a lot lower, but it's much lower to the sense of... Um, it's not running at 5760, which I think it was running on the uh, free monitors before, so yes. Okay then, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye, I should say.